You know, one of the things that's like super important to me lately is you've been seeing Noah in the videos, the vlogs a little bit lately. I really love having him a part of things and obviously he's my son and I love him to death. And we've been working on a new project. Some of you guys may have seen on some of my channels, there's actually as a, a related channel or a, a friend's channel, there's a channel called Bad Choice Noah. Well, that happens to be my son's channel uh, and there's nothing uploaded there yet, but we shot some pretty fun footage last week and, um, and, and maybe, it'll be his first video on YouTube. Uh, he really wants to do a bunch of YouTube stuff and uh, and he's a great kid and, and uh, it's a great thing for kind of a father and son to be involved and obviously I'm a YouTuber. I love being involved in YouTube and I want to help him kind of uh, start his career on YouTube and who knows, maybe it'll be successful or not, I don't know, but I sure hope it is and it's something that we can do together. So I'm gonna go hit the edit computer right now and start working on some of his footage just uh, to try to put it together and maybe in the next uh, week or so I can share a link with you guys with uh, with his first video so uh, anyways I'm gonna go hit the computer spend some hours just kind of playing with that and uh, hopefully putting something real cool together All right, so guys, at least I made a little bit of a dent in it and uh, starting to at least get the timeline put out. Uh, just have, you know, kind of tighten things up and kind of put music in and some various other things. But uh, uh, listen, you know, I'm no, you know, genius editor by any stretch. Nico is really the guy that, that takes charge of that, and that's his uh, his his office that I invaded a little bit there. But uh, but I have fun, and I really uh, I want to learn more about it because I, I love that part of things. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get out of the shop right now. Go meet up with Lori. Well, we have just some tidying up to do with some uh, some tubs and some rack type systems over at her 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 dad's house. Um, She's been there a couple hours, so I need to get over there and help her out before she gets really pissed at me. Okay, so let's get out of here, get on the road. Uh-oh, Lori just called me and she's basically finished up with everything to do so I'm halfway to my dad's house and I guess I'm gonna be turning around because she's done I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not <laughs> it's like one part of me is thinking all right well maybe there wasn't as much work as she thought there was the other part of me is maybe I should have been there earlier because she might be mad at me for not coming and helping so hmm don't know how this is gonna turn out but regardless just gonna turn around I'm gonna head home because I'm done at the shop and hopefully when Lori gets home, she won't be too upset and maybe we can uh, actually enjoy a little bit of the rest of the day. So, uh, fingers crossed, guys. What are you guys doing? Did you guys miss me? And now the anxious wait to see if Lori's pissed at me. What an absolutely gorgeous fall day. I love the trees and everything this time of year. For you guys that don't live in a climate that is cold, uh, that gets that fall weather. I feel bad for you, but I'm thinking that because Lori might not be happy that I didn't help her, if I maybe fix the pool, see this pool over here? Lori put this cover on when I was out of town, but that bubble right there is supposed to be in the center of the pool. So I'm thinking maybe if I, I'm, I'm thinking that if I maybe start on that, maybe she'll be happy. Like, oh, well you didn't help me over there, but you're such a good guy, you helped me with the pool. So. So the first thing that I have to do here is actually get the water. Let me show you. The, the water that is in there, I have to somehow get out. So I'm just going to use this hose and hopefully create a siphon and hopefully that'll drain it out. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I can't create a siphon. I don't know what the hell's going on. So I got to go to plan B. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Maybe it's the hose that's the problem, so I'm gonna try a bigger hose and I don't know, see if that works. 
Okay, so ironically enough, while I tried the second hose, which completely was a fail, I just got a whole bunch of water. The first hose started to kind of drain. I mean, it's not draining really a lot, but it's a start, right? So maybe I'll try to bucket some water out too, because that's a lot of water. So I have absolutely zero doubt that in the comments down below, you guys are gonna just rip me for being an idiot and not doing it the easiest and simplest way. Go ahead, tell me what what I should do here because it seems like this is gonna take forever, but uh, uh, so go ahead, let me have it. I'm sure it's coming. Okay. So the pool is fixed, which is good. It seems like Lori wasn't too unhappy with me. I mean, she uh, wasn't bubbling with joy that she had to do all the work by herself, but I think it helped that I was at least willing to try to fix the pool. She did come in at the end and help me. The two of us got it rocked out, so that's good. So um, now let's just hope we can have some fun later on so uh, she gets more happy. So I think that Lori it got over being mad at me. Because I didn't help you move tubs. Or were you mad at me for some other reason <laughs> that I was unaware of? Yeah, I wasn't mad about the tubs. She woke up mad. That happens most days. Except <laughs> see. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we're going to get this guy back here. A, a, what are we getting? A pillow? Oh, no. Stop. Stop what? Stop. <laughs> what? All right, no more complaining. Ever. About anything. What? Put your seatbelt on. All right, so here's the deal. It's been a pretty long day, and I don't really drink hardly ever, at least nothing more than maybe one drink. I haven't had hard liquor in forever, years and years and years, but tonight, me and Lori have decided we're gonna try something different. So I'm gonna try to make a Moscow Mule, but again, I mean, I literally have to find this shot glass because we don't even have a shot glass around. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna make measurements on this, but I'm gonna do the very best I can. First things first, you need ginger beer. And I tell you what, this uh, Bundaberg is absolutely the best. Whenever I go to Australia, this is the drink that I love to drink. That and lemon, lime, and bitters. But uh, this was a true uh, amazing thing to find this one. And I guess I need four ounces of this in. Oh, and these are, uh, these are the classic Moscow Mule glasses. You've gotta have like copper. I have no idea, idea why, but anyways. So I need four ounces in these to start with. Now I need one and a half ounces of vodka. And finally, you just need a little splash of uh, lemon juice, or I'm sorry, lime juice. So. I think it tastes good, no? More vodka? You can never have too much vodka. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, here. It's very gingery. More? Oh God, that's a lot of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good drink. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So uh, I don't know where this night's gonna go, but uh, it's gonna probably get pretty fun as we go on here. So uh, again, I'm not condoning drinking. Some we don't do very often, but hey, every now and then you just gotta cut loose. It's a beautiful fall night. Uh, could enjoy it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.